Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another awesome figure review. Today we're taking a look at the entirety of Black Widow's team, or Black Widow's family, as seen in the Black Widow solo movie. Now these are the Marvel Legends figures. I don't know if there was a full team in any other toy line, but I know that Marvel Legends came up with a full team. Now Black Widow and Yelena Belova are in the main line of these figures, the main release of these figures, which were in the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure Wave. If you want to get Alexei Vostokov and Melina Vostokov, aka the Red Guardian and the Iron Maiden, then you're going to have to buy the Combo Pack, which I've only seen in a couple places, and I don't even know if it's exclusive to anywhere. But uh, you can get Melina and you can get Alexi in a combo pack, and then the other two figures of Black Widow and Yelena, you can just get regularly. With that being said, these figures are pretty cool. They come with a host of accessories, as they are Marvel Legends, and they're quite faithful to how they appear in the movie, and they're quite faithful to the likenesses of the actors that portray these particular characters within the MCU. Uh, first, we have Black Widow, who is by far my favorite MCU version of the character, or her costume is my favorite version. Um, she's pretty cool. I love that she came with these uh, these gauntlet pieces. I don't know if she actually came with these, because it's been a while. Um, this might have just come with the, uh, the movie White Suit Black Widow, which if you want that figure, that's, I think, an exclusive figure as well, or at least it had a limited run. But I really love this version of Black Widow. It's probably the most like uh, Scarlett Johansson uh, out of all of the figures that we've had for the MCU, at least within the Marvel Legends line. She's got a crunch, and it kind of moves back and forth here. Her head moves slightly, but it's restricted by um, her outfit. Her arms move outward, they move downward, and then there's a full rotation um, backward and forward at the elbow, full rotation underneath her Widow Bite gauntlets. And same goes for the other side, the other arm. Pretty cool. Yeah, she has uh, movement here, but it's kind of restrained by her buckles here. And then it moves down and up like that. Same on the other side. There's some, uh, I think there's rotation at the boots. I don't know though. It's been a while since I've actually held these figures. It's just been in the display case for so long. But yeah. I love this, the, the, uh, the, the kind of really modern design for the Black Widow costume, but that's what I like about the MCU as of late. They're recreating the costumes, the iconic costumes that the characters have wore. Obviously, we're not going to get Scarlett Johansson wearing a latex suit, like a, a tight rubber latex suit, but we can definitely get a really nice kind of futuristic modern look for her costume, which I think uh, Marvel Studios has done great with for... Her design here for her uh, solo movie design. Pretty cool. We also have the Yelena Belova. Sorry, I cannot speak today. Um, but there she is, played by Florence Pugh. Looking really awesome. Um, she is wearing the, um, the bomber jacket or whatever, the military vest that she bought from a military store. It's actually her first clothing when she broke free of the mind control that if you haven't seen the movie spoiler alert um she's wearing a white suit underneath which i believe uh uh melina actually created the uh, the white suits at least in this movie um lots of um nice uh, seam work and armored look for for these suits um there's the black widow emblem there and nice belt some more buckles and stuff pretty cool like the likeness to florence Pugh though is really good the braiding in the hair she's got like some kind of like bun thing going back here nice arched back that's kind of hot tight butt cheeks um yeah and then she's got like equipment on her uh on her buckles pretty cool she's got some fingerless gloves which is nice 
some black uh, gauntlets and uh, some boots and all that kind of stuff. Really cool. Looks really awesome. Same articulation. So a crunch and it moves side to side. Head actually fully rotates so you can do the exorcist. Moves up and down. Really nice stuff. Um, she can go out that far. Same for the other arm. Um, it's like up and down rotation, but it's like really tight. Um, obviously her, her hands swivel right there. She does have like movement, but again, it's hindered by her, uh, by her, um, buckles and straps. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole, the whole figure for articulation. Really nice likeness to the actress that plays, uh, that plays Yelena Belova in the MCU. Really nice. Um, but there. Then we have Melina here, who, at least in uh, the MCU so far, hasn't become the uh, Black Widow villain Iron Maiden. She's kind of dusty. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Obviously uses the same mold as the uh, deluxe white suit Black Widow, and uh, obviously the at least parts of that mold that carried on to... Uh, Yelena Belova we just looked at. She comes with this grappling hook, which I kind of posed in a really nice way. And the detail on the grappling hook is really nice. It's got like spikes on it so you can grab into the snow or the rocks or whatever. Really nice. Now obviously again, like I said, she is just reusing the white suit Black Widow mold. Um, the head sculpt. I don't know the actress's name that plays her. I'm sorry. Um, let me know in the comments below, but it actually looks just like the actress here. It looks really nice. Nice uh, little short ponytail here. Um, hair's all pulled back. Looks really cool. It's not focusing really well. Um, but it does look like the actress that plays um, Melina Vostikov in the movie. Really nice. Um, she's got like a backpack on. But yeah, really cool. I like this figure. It looks awesome. I right, definitely you want to get this figure. To round out uh, the Black Widow family slash team from the movie, but I love her. Looks awesome. I like how they added some more paint. Like they gave her uh, her shoulder pads more of like a color than just being solid white. And again with her knee pads, pretty cool. Obviously a tight suit, so arched back and tight buttocks. But all together, just a nice, a nice Melina Vostikov figure. I wonder if she'll ever become Iron Maiden in future MCU movies. I guess we'll have to find out. And lastly, we have the thick boy. We have Red Guardian Alexei Vostikov, played by the legendary David Harbour. Looking really awesome. I got him holding his little figure. Now, obviously, I haven't really gone through like their, um, their accessories or anything. This is kind of just more like a showcase video, kind of reaching on a review. But obviously... The Russians, this is um, the Russians' uh, answer to Captain America. And this guy even, I don't, and it's it's kind of a joke in the movie. It's never made clear if rather if Red Guardian actually fought Captain America or if he's just like crazy old man. But it's pretty cool, lots of nice seam lines. The red suit looks awesome. The, the uh, reinforced kind of like armored looking uh, tactical shield looks awesome. He's holding his action figure. He has two, uh, two, um, head sculpts for this i think he has one without his mask on and then he has one with his mask on which is pretty cool the paint job on this i don't know if it's just because it's an older figure now the movie's been out for a while so paint's kind of rubbed off and i've also been through a move so it's been bouncing around in a in a box of other figures but it's really cool he also has this uh port on his back you can put his shield away looks really cool he's got lots of straps and everything uh, I just love the I love the way Marvel Legends does it. I mean, it's not going to be like the best quality, but it's like the best quality you can get for decent money without paying a fortune for like something like a Hot Toys Black Widow, which, by the way, is the uh, best Black Widow figure I have in my collection of Black Widow figures. I'm trying to get him so he doesn't fall over and get the whole uh, crew back in here again. But like I said. Um, Melina Vostikov and the Red Guardian, they come in their own box. So they're not part of the initial run of these uh, movie Black Widow figures. Black Widow actually uh, is included in the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure um, 
like uh, wave. So that's like the main line of figures that came out. And so does, uh, so does, um, God, I forget her name already. So does Yelena. She also comes in a, uh, in the same uh, kind of base build a figure line. So yeah, basically these two figures will be easy to get. These will not be because they're part of a two pack and it was only a limited run. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed my look at the whole team, the whole family of Black Widow movie figures. And with that, have a great night and I'll see you guys in the next awesome figure review. Do take care. Thank <laughs> you.